another episode of Bork Gaming. Um, just give me a moment. I'm going to try and find another battle for us where someone doesn't uh, forfeit. But we're bringing back this team once more with Mega Slowbro, Breloom, uh, Heat Ran, Tyranitar, Mjolnir, the Raikou, and my Hippowdon. Uh, my opponent's bringing the Nine Tails. I'm going to guess that'll be a. Um, Sunny Day Nine Tails, Arcanine, Venusaur, which is probably his Mega. Yeah, it's the only thing out there that could be Mega. And that gave us issues in our last match. Um, the Leafeon, the Lapras, and the gosh diggity darn um, Snorlax. Um, and so I think the best lead out of for everything I've seen here would be the Tyranitar. Yeah, I think Tyr or Trogdor is our best lead. He set, leads out with the Nine Tails, sets up the Sun. Um, I don't expect him to stick in. I think he's going to expect the. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt and see what he does here. I think he's switching out. I expect the Venusaur to come in, or maybe the Lapras. So if he goes for the Lapras, we'll be in pretty good position. Uh, if it's the Snorlax, I'm going to go for a um, going to go for a follow play. Um, it is the Venusaur. Uh, I expect that to be the Mega Venusaur. As I said, that's the only thing that he's got the leftover. He's not a Mega. I am going for the Ice Beam because we see last match that I can take some Giga Trains with this thing. He, I do have special investment, so let's see what he does. Uh, if he goes for Toxic, I'll be quite upset. Uh, he goes for the Leech Seed, but I think that's okay. We go for the Ice Beam, super effective. I think he's going to switch out here. Um, so what would be the smartest thing for us to do? I really want to go into Hippo Down and set up my rocks. That would be really nice with that um, Arcanine and that Nine Tails. I think I'm just going to go for another Ice Beam, fire that off. Ah, oh, you did protect. I should have gone into the Hippowdon. Um, yeah, that, uh, that took him up to the point where. I'm going for another Ice Beam, just. Yep, I'm going for an Ice Beam. Let's see what he goes for. If he goes for another Protect, I'm... Ah, he did switch out. Went for the Nine Tails. Sunny Day, getting rid of my Weather. So I'm going to switch right on out into the Hippowdon. Set up my... If he stays in, I will go for the um, Stealth Rocks. Let's see what he does here. Oh. Everyone's nearly killing my hip out on in one move. Um, I think Heat Ran will be my best option here. Yeah, Heat Ran. And I'll fire off. Uh, well, this will work out for us. So. Oh, that Venusaur wants to go for a Solar Beam. I'm going for Magma Storm. Let him Solar Beam as much as he wants. Okay, what you gonna do here, Dolakan? Uh, so thank you for coming and watching this video. Um, your support means everything, and. This Magma Storm just powered up that Arcanine. So he might have Wild Charge. I'm going to go for Toxic. So he's a physical Arcanine. Good to know. Um, and this is my special wall. Went for Crunch. He fully expected that Slowbro. Let's go for a flash cannon. He's 
doing 23%, so a substitute really wouldn't make much sense. I think if we have to let Heat Ran go down here, it'd be worth it because of that toxic damage. He's thinking about switching out here, even though he's got that flash fire boost. What you gonna do here? Uh, let's see here. Best thing he could do is I don't know. I want to say switch back into the Venusaur, but um, he doesn't want to. He switches into the Venusaur, switches back into the Arcanine with his flash fire, get another p attack boost. And to reset his toxic timer. It's not really worth it though. The Lapras, so you'll take neutral damage from my flash cannon. Uh, are we going to see a Parish Song Lapras? That would be pretty cool. Um, I think we take this opportunity to switch into our what? Because he'll to be able to take the water or ice move. What are you going for, Lapras? You're going for Surf. As I said, we were able to take that quite well. Um, slow bro I'm gonna go for the yawn and that's what he was going for he wanted to get rid of that toxic oh he's gonna have no problem switching out here um, unfortunately for him whatever he switches into is not going to appreciate my Psy shock uh, that nine tails is gonna go for a solar beam so do I want to stay in and take that don't have anyone else I really want to take it with. I say I'm going to Mega Evolve, slack off, and see how much damage he does with this Solar Beam. He does Solar Beam like I predicted, did 49%. So I can survive that unless he gets a crit or if that was a low roll. Uh, I'm going to Scald. I think I can take him out. I'll survive a hit. Unfortunately, I won't be able to have that regenerator anymore, which would have been nice since I'm playing somewhat riskily with this. Uh, I think he's switching out, though. What are you going to do? He did go for the solar beam. He got his 45% damage off. I got my scald off, and it didn't do as much as I wanted it to. Oh, gosh, I cannot stay in now. Oh, uh, gosh. Oh man, he's got me in a tight spot and he knows it. Um, I am going to go out into the flash. Oh, that's, um, that's unfortunate. Is he, he must be chlorophyll Venusaur. He's getting a speed boost from this sunny day, too. This is a very well-made team. Um, I don't think... I think he's going to go for another Leech Seed. No, I don't. I think he's going to go for a Sludge Bomb. I'm going out into... I'm going to go into Heat Ran, see what he wants to do. I think he is. Oh, I wonder if that Nine Tails is carrying a Heat Rock. You know, playing these matches, I'm seeing all sorts of little holes in my team. Like, uh, Knock Off would be nice to get rid of items. Um, something like Heal Bell to heal my mons. Uh, weakness to Water. Uh, he did go for the Leech Seed. I knew it was coming. Doesn't really matter. There wasn't much I could do to that. I expect the Arcanine to come in so I'm gonna switch into Mjolnir Arcanine comes in expecting the Magma Storm and I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to click the Volt Switch for whatever he is thinking of doing 
and let's see how much he appreciates a volt switch powered up by a life orb. I don't think he's staying in here. I think he's going to switch into his Venusaur again. If he switches into his... Hmm. I don't know. If he switches in to his Venus or... Oh, Mega Venus or just causing us so many problems. I think I know the next Mega I'm going to pick for the OU tier. Man, Mega... Oh, it's not even Mega Venusaur. This guy has no Mega. Got two Grass types, two Fire types, a Water type, and a Snorlax. We haven't seen that Snorlax yet. Or the Leafeon. Come on, make your move. Make your move. Okay, you know what? We're going to throw him on a timer. Give him a little over two minutes to make his moves, his decisions. So, uh, some other content that has been coming to the channel lately is uh, some Lord of the Rings games. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it. It's from Fantasy Flight Games. Um, it's a very fun game. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't really touched it and probably over a year except for the one match I played with Joe in our first video um, and I'd like to play more uh, I'd like to familiarize myself with the cards because I'm pretty much going off of well look this cards in my deck uh, I guess I'll play that because Joe built the deck for me um, so what do you guys want to see with that um, what do you guys want to see with that series? you want to see us go through each and every single mission uh, going out in the order that they came or going from easiest to hardest, seeing how far we can make it with these decks? Because, um, you know, we really want to cater this content to you guys. We wanted to make what you want to see. Um, so you're going to have to let us know what that is. Um, if you want to see more Pokemon Showdown, I'd be happy to bring that for you. Um, you guys want to see us play different games? Leave the suggestions down below. We'll switch over to those. Um, Bork and Zim Gaming is really all of our channel. We want to do what you want to do, and we want to entertain you while doing it. Um, oh man, I wonder if this guy DC'd. Are we going to get a win because of DC? That would be really, really lame. Come on, make a move. Don't DC. He's got 30 seconds to make a move. Twenty seconds left. He's down to just ten seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, it's our first win on the channel. Uh, I did not want to get it this way, but I guess a win is a win. So thank you all for coming out, checking out this video. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of weaknesses in this team. Um, a lot of weaknesses to grass, a lot of weaknesses to water and ice. Um, I guess I didn't think this team through completely when I was building it. But this is my first attempt in a long time, so thank you once more for coming out, checking the video. Leave your suggestions for moves, changes you would make to this team in the comment section down below. Um, any suggestions for Pokemon, move sets, items, the whole shebang for uh, UU. If I decide to use your t suggestion, I will give you a shout out in each of the UU videos. Um, but I think I'm going to get the heck out of here. So I uh, just want you all to remember. BZ Games is way, way better than your dad's games.